by Graham. Um, another three points on the road, another clean sheet. Uh, how did you assess the performance? Yeah, look, I have to say I was quite happy with it. Obviously, we could have done better in front of goal, and uh, but when you see the obstacles that were thrown at us, where we just arrived uh, two days ago, obviously, and and playing in, uh, in these conditions where it was, you know, very, very extreme humidity. Um, and I have to say the pitch was, it scared me last night. We weren't allowed to train on it and do a familial session. <coughs> uh, obviously the storms are big here and it basically ruined the pitch. And uh, I was I was quite uh, stressed about uh, player welfare and uh, that the player could have got injured. But uh, we got the job done and that was the most important thing. A couple of key uh things that I'm sure you're happy with. One was a new Socceroo blooded again tonight. What did you make of Nesta's performance? Yeah, look, I thought Nesta did well. Um, you know, they changed to a back five, which we didn't expect, and uh, we had to adjust straight away, which obviously gave them that one extra man at the back. Uh, but I thought Nesta was... Uh, he's been... His energy's been great in camp. He's, he's fitted in very, very well. Um, you know, you can see some of the actions that he had, but I don't... Again... It would be the first time that kid's probably played on a pitch like this as well. and uh, But overall, very happy with him. And uh, Cassini Yengi scoring in, in back-to-back games now. And mm. your decision to play with the, the two big men up front, how did you rate their performance? Yeah, look, I thought, uh, yeah, and I think Cass would be the first one to admit it. He's probably a little bit rusty. He hasn't played for, <clears throat> you know, five weeks because uh, his last game was Portsmouth when they got promoted. And, uh, you know, he's had a bit of time off, uh, but... You know, I thought he did, did did well for us. Obviously, he can do better. And uh, Mitchell Duke had uh, a number of chances as well in the first half and that to, to score. But, uh, yeah, we move forward with that. We were commenting uh, during the game that uh, this could have been one of the smallest Socceroos midfields uh, at, at the end of the game with Cam Devlin and Joshie Nisbet on. But, uh, again, a, a great opportunity for those players to get international experience in your view. Yeah, look, uh, Cam Devlin's been uh, really impressive at training. You know, he's... Again, just his work rate and energy. And, uh, you know, if we'd scored earlier, I would have got Jackson Irvine off earlier than, uh, for the 2-0 than what I did. But, uh, you know, Cam was very good. Joshy Nisbet had a fantastic season, and uh, that's a just reward for that. And it's been a long time uh, between Socceroos Caps for Daniel Arzani, an mm. opportunity for him again tonight. How have you found him this week? Yeah, look, you see when he came on, it's... Uh, He's got the action out wide and he can get past people and that, but uh, sometimes it's the end product and it's the last pass. It's a cross and, uh, you know, I think he still think that uh, he needs to work on that um, <clears throat> because he got, gets himself in great positions and that, but, uh, you know, if he does that, he'll get more assists and, uh, you know, more for his profile. And so what's next? Uh, you head straight from the stadium now mm. uh, to Perth. Uh, can you just talk us through your program for the next few days? Yeah, uh, we, we head straight to... Uh, Back to the hotel now, have a, a dinner and, and the boys have a shower and then uh, we're leaving the hotel at 10 o'clock to get on an 11.30 flight uh, to Singapore and then from Singapore uh, we'll land in Perth tomorrow at midday. <laughs> so it's quite uh, hectic but um, look, it's what we've got to do to get back and prepare for the Palestine game and you will see a lot of changes again. I think uh, <clears throat> out of the starting 11 there tonight, probably nine won't play. That's why I left them on longer than I probably should have or would have normally because, you know, we've got players here with the depth that we've got that, uh, as I said, we'll start with nine new ones.